Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a special episode about how you can improve your virtual assistant skills and today we are talking about a great project management tool which is Trello. I am sure that some of you have heard about this tool which will really allow you to collaborate effectively and efficiently with your client or with your team. So uh, collaboration is really, really important, uh, especially when you work remotely and it's uh, really crucial to do it right. So Trello can really uh, boost your skill set as a virtual assistant. So before we start this episode, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's move on. So again, as I said, that Trello is a very popular project management tool. So it means that it allows you to complete the tasks effectively and efficiently and to share your progress with your teammates and also to see your teammates progress uh, at the same time. It also can give your client the opportunity to see what each uh, member do in the team is doing right now. And it is really an effective management tool which allows teams to complete projects up to the standard and before the deadline. And uh, by the way, this is also really a great skill for you to know because even if your client or your client's team uh, do not really understand or know this project yet, you always can uh, come forward and uh, suggest the solution. Don't forget that suggesting your ideas, suggesting the solutions for improvement uh, really is important for many entrepreneurs, which I already mentioned in the video about how you can build long-term partnership with your clients as a virtual assistant. By the way, if you want, you can check this video right here. So uh, let's move on and talk about how you can use Trello. So uh, let's log in to Trello first. You can just log in with your email address and it is really easy to sign up in Trello if you don't have the account yet. So here I just want to explain to you a few things. So there are um, workspaces, there are templates. So basically workspaces is the spaces which define some area of your work or your personal life. For example, if you see here, I have my family workspace, I have my um, SGB VA workspace, I have my other business SGB events workspace and SGB VA online course workspace. So it makes it really organized and clear for me uh, which every workspace is for. So to create a workspace, you can just click create and uh, you can create a workspace. So you can uh, choose a workspace name, for example, TCM Wellness. Then we uh, choose the workspace type. Let's say it is small business. Our team organizes everything here. So uh, you can choose the description that you prefer. Uh, this is the workspace for the effective collaboration. Of TCM wellness team. And then you just click continue. After that, you also can invite your client or you can invite your team members into this workspace by sending them the invite link. In this case, you just click invite with link or you can just input their email address or you can just do it later. Uh, so now you already can see that we have created a separate workspace and this workspace is, let's say, for the TCM uh, client. Now you can uh, basically create boards. So boards are basically the space where you can organize different projects which you have within your team. 
For example, you have marketing board, you can have HR board, you can have other tools as well. So you can just uh, also choose a template that you prefer to use. Okay, so basically here are some, some of the templates that you can use. Uh, OKR template, town hall meetings, company overview, team goal setting. So basically these are the templates that uh, Trello is suggesting you. So you can basically explore them and see if there is anything applicable for me i just use it in a very simple way so i just click create new board and i say for example social media management smm or social media content visibility you can set private you can set public you can say workspace uh, so basically those people who are inside this workspace they will be able to access this board and after that you can just click create and here basically i use it in a very simple way uh, so basically what i do is that here on the left hand side i usually keep all the documents related to uh, this project for example social media documents so uh, here i uh, put all the to-do list to do and then here i put in progress and here i put done and the other one is archive but archive is not always necessary so basically you can see that here uh, each column is reflecting uh, what you need to do uh, the documents uh, the tasks that are in, in progress and the tasks which are done and some tasks which are done can go to archive so basically here you can add cards so for example adding a card which is uh, the content plan or monthly content plan monthly content plan so we just uh, click add card and then uh, click uh, on the pencil button open card and here is where you can do so many more things. You can add the description, you can add the activity as well. Uh, you can share uh, the feedbacks, you can add people who are responsible for uh, implementing this. So, and you can also add attachments. For example, I, for this uh, specific social media document section, I want to add documents, right? So I just uh, can uh, select uh, or search or paste the link or or choose a file so I can just go uh, and choose a file let's say this uploading the file so now you can see that this document is already here you can edit this if you want this to be called differently so basically you can say that this is SMM uh, monthly March or or let's say June 2023 plan update and you can even add the cover i usually add the cover because it looks nicer so you can add this cover let's say uh, you can also add the labels but i don't usually do that uh, you can create the dates but here we don't really need it because this is just uh, for 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 us it is just the place to organize all the documents related to social media documents uh, to social media so after that let's say i want to create another uh, attachment which is uh, photo shoot photo shoot materials uh, july 2023 add card again just click this button open card uh, and then here you can add the attachments uh, the, uh, exactly the same way as we did before. Uh, you can add the cover as well. You can even make the checklist. For example, to do for photo shoot July 
2023. And then you can add the items. For example, prepare the model, models, outfits. After that, also create references, prepare the photo shoot venue, etc. So basically, you can create the to-do list and you can uh, check the to-do list uh, once you have done uh, everything that is needed for this uh, photo shoot. So here is the photo shoot. So basically, that's how you uh, you uh, connect the document that you need for this campaign or for this client. So um, for the to-do list, uh, I usually input everything that needs to be done. For example, I need to prepare the content prepare the content ideas for August 23. Also prepare uh, the competitor analysis for August uh, 2023 let's say if you do it uh, on a monthly basis for your client and then again you can just open the card you can edit the labels for example if you uh, want to create a new label and let's say uh, uh, the, the title will be uh, posts create uh, or um, if posts, uh, so we have created the post. Now let's create another one. Let's say research, research create. Here we see that post is not really suitable, so we just undo it. Uh, research. For this one, we can just mark it as posts. Uh, after that. Uh, you can say create uh, the concepts uh, for new reels for August. And again, you can also open the card. You can edit the labels. Uh, let's create another labels. Let's say video content. You can also do that and put the label so as, as soon as you see the list of tasks you can basically um, you can basically understand what type of task is it for but i don't uh, necessarily do it all the time i don't necessarily create labels also if you open the card you can even uh, write a comment and tag your boss or tag, you, tag your client um, as long as they are included in this workspace you will be able to tag them so they will automatically receive notifications um, about your progress for example if you are creating the concept for the new reels and you want uh, to ask your client uh, something related to this task you can always tag your client uh, in the uh, in the comments uh, to this uh, to this uh, to this list to this task and the client will be able to see this you can also uh, basically choose the deadlines for example this must be done by the 20 of july and you can even set up the time uh, maybe 17 zero zero and the set a due date reminder is one day before. So 20 of July, uh, then you can do that and you can just save and you will get immediately the email notification uh, one day before this task is due. So it will uh, help you to stay updated about the tasks which, are, which deadlines are already approaching. So after that, uh, you can, of course, make the to-do to list bigger. And uh, after the task is done, uh, you can just 
place it here uh, if your client might check or if you are working with a team and it's important to also uh, inform them that the task is in progress then you can also uh, use progress uh, column and you can also inform the team and inform your client that this task is currently in progress uh, and once this task is done you can just uh, move it to the uh, column done uh, and after that you can just uh, archive this task uh, don't forget that for each task let's say you have prepared the content ideas for august 23 after this task is done don't forget to include uh, the result of this task in the description i always do that so that you can easily also or your client can easily find the result of this task usually the result is always the link or the description but usually it is just the link that you attach uh, you can write the comments here and uh, in case you need to, um, after that, after the task is done, if you want to put the content ideas in the document so it is easily findable by you and your client, you can add a card about content ideas 2023. Just open and add attachment. <coughs> so that it is reflected here it really uh these documents on the left side it is always makes me so much uh so much easier for me to find all the necessary documents for these projects in one place instead of you know so sometimes uh looking for them on my google drive or on my email i can just easily find everything here Yeah, so that's how it works. And I hope, guys, that you have enjoyed this basic analysis of tre uh, Trello and a few tips on how you can use it to uh, make your work more productive and also on how uh, you can use it to collaborate better with your team or with your client. So you can definitely dig deeper than that and uh, find more information and more details about this uh, amazing tool. It is free of charge. Of course, there is a premium version as well but uh, up until now I use a free version and this is totally enough for me so I hope this uh, guidance empowered you to explore Trello more and thank you very much for your time today I hope that it was a useful guidance for you as a virtual assistant thank you very much do not forget to subscribe and sign up to my channel and also like this video uh, and see you soon on the next episode thank you